Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up this macro right here that is made by Virage. Now, if you don't know who Virage is, he's basically a YouTuber that makes macros for Grow a Garden. And I will be showing you how to set up his macro. And with this macro, you can basically do anything from buying seeds, to buying gears, to buying eggs, to buying twilight, uh, twilight shop items, to buying cosmetics. And you can even use alt accounts to like what? To like play Grow a Garden on multiple accounts at once. But I'm not really going to test this feature just yet. Maybe sometime in the future because uh, I'm not really that pro on my main account for now. But maybe in a future video, I will demonstrate it to you. Anyways, let's get started. Now, the setup process is pretty simple. You got to go to autohotkey.com, click on download V2. And then there we go. You should see this thing right here. Tap on save. And then this is how it should look like. Just double click on that, open it, and then just tap on install. And then you should tap yes on the next pop up. And just like that, you have auto hotkey installed. Now you can close this. Now, the next thing that you will need to do is join Verge's Discord server because, well, it has the GitHub link for the macro. Now, I can't just paste this in my description because GitHub links are not allowed on YouTube. But if you don't have Discord, it is fine. You can just pretty much type this link out or just copy and paste it by taking a photo of it on your phone. But anyways, let's get back to the video. Just click on this. This is basically the GitHub right here, or you can basically search on google verge grow a garden macro and, you, and this should pop up but again the safest method is by going to the discord server obviously because you don't want any impersonations popping up scroll down to the source code uh, uh the source code with the bracket zip click on this and then it should basically download and once you're done with that there should be an extract button when you click on this there should be an extract all button extract and then this should open now you're gonna double click on that double click on that let me close this first so it doesn't interfere with anything and this is how it should look like you should just tap on continue and there we go take a look at that i basically have the macro running now the settings that i recommend you to use well uh if you're like an intermediate like me i would just like get everything that is like right here i wouldn't get anything that's below this i mean i might as well get some bamboos as well because i'm considering doing something with bamboos i don't know what it is but i'm just seeing it actually you know what screw it. i'm not gonna get bamboos for the gears obviously select all of this except for the favorite tool and harvest tool these two things are really common right now they appear like every time and they take like a lot of your money so just just don't go for those and when you go for eggs i suggest legendary mythical and bug egg legendary is not really a must but if you want it you can twilight shop items i would select everything because i don't really have everything just yet cosmetics i wouldn't buy that because i'm not focusing on i'm not focusing on cosmetics settings well if you want to use like multiple accounts at once there is a way but i'm not so sure how that is possible possible yet because like uh i mean he did describe in his video that he doesn't want to show it just yet because like it's still under testing and well i'm not even pro in my main garden yet so i don't know if i want to actually move on to alt accounts just yet anyways you also better click on the auto align button and fast mode if your fps is above 60 now if your fps is below 60 or let's say your computer is very laggy disable this because it is not needed if your computer is laggy as heck if your computer that is fast though keep this on and for the discord item pings and web hooks just ignore this because uh, if you're not trying to actually deal with such things and of course credits to verge and real and if you want to donate to them you can go ahead i'm not being paid to say this okay I, I just think they're pretty cool also guys one more thing before i start this whole macro thingy i forgot to tell you something there is something very important about this macro for it to actually work you need to go to your recall wrench just drag this down to the second one to your second option because this basically teleports you to the gear shop. And this is what the macro actually uses to teleport to it. It doesn't just walk there. So yeah, now that we have all the settings done correctly. What the hell is that? Okay, what the heck was that? We, we, we just got a laser that beamed at me. What the heck? What the heck just happened? Anyways, it is time I show you how the macro works. So just to make sure that you guys know, F5 is to start the macro. F7 is to stop the macro. So if we tap on F5, it is basically going to start doing its stuff. So if we just tap on that, it's basically going to just uh, go crazy and look at that. That's honestly pretty impressive. I actually pretty much am very impressed. And then it's just going to start buying the stuff that you selected just like this. And then I'll wait for it to do its next thing, aka go to the, the gear shop. So uh, one moment. And there we go. The last one the beanstalk seed and then now it should try to go to the yep the gear shop there we go just like that and then now it'll show me the gear shop and then now it's basically gonna start buying everything just take a look at that it just bought everything just like that and then yeah there we go look at that it just used another recall wrench and now it's basically buying the eggs 
But of course, since we didn't select the common egg, we are not buying that common egg. And right now, on my mouse, as you can see, it says waiting for next cycle. This basically means that the macro is waiting until the shops reset. So once the shop reset, it will basically repeat the cycle over and over again. And, it, and of course, if you want to stop the macro, if you want to stop the macro, you tap on F7 and this basically pops back up again, basically meaning that the macro has stopped. Honestly, I'm impressed with this macro. It is amazing. I have so many black balls growing on my trees. Anyways, if you guys found this video pretty useful, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Grow a Garden content. And yes, I will be having my first ever 24 hour video of Grow a Garden coming very, 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 very soon. And I'm going to plan on making full time content on this game. So I'll see you guys in the next video.